Hello everyone, this is Terripper, and today we are playing more Slasher Pre-Alpha. Hope you guys aren't getting tired of these Pre-Alpha videos, because I am just loving this game so much, my god. Again, disclaimer, this is a Pre-Alpha. Anything and everything you see in this video may change upon full release of the game. And it is a very, very closed Pre-Alpha, so I cannot give out access, and there is no way to get access beyond having it given to you. So I apologize for that eventuality, but it is necessary. So, today we're going to be talking about bows and other ranged weapons, namely the rock. Wait, I don't have a rock. That's okay, I'll show you guys the rock anyway. But, ranged weapons. So, ranged weapons in this game are a, quite a bit different from chivalry. Obviously, head, heads take more damage, bows shoot arrows, that, that, that works. But the interesting thing, the biggest difference, is that your arrow does not follow your crosshair. That went completely off from the crosshair, for any of those who noticed. But, it follows the tip of the arrow itself. And it does have a very, it has a very pronounced curve. I think they might fix that eventually. But there you have it. So aim a little bit below, and it hits. Obviously, he is wearing full plate armor. He's going to take a lot more arrows than the normal guy. Um, he took three arrows to the head. So, I would take one arrow to the head, this guy, zero head armor, and then the medium head armor would take two arrows to the head. That guy's wearing heavy head armor, he takes three. So, let me show you guys... Yeah, so, what you can do is you can just peg people like your good old archer, but you have to get used to this not being able to use the crosshair. Uh, honestly, the archers that I've played with, Anstey, he has access to this game, they actually turn off the crosshair. And that's a very good idea, because you can't follow it. You can't trust it at all while you're using this bow. Uh, you actually have to watch the physical arrowhead. Oh shit. And also, close range arching, it doesn't work. You just, you just don't do it. Ah! Unless you do this. Fuck. I keep imagining there's a crosshair. Hit him in the head! Fuck. Ow. Alright, let's try that again. I'm going to actually use a rock this time. I'm not going to use a rock, but I'm going to equip it. So, you can also actually use a rock as a throwing weapon. Um, but you may have seen me... I was holding a sword, too. So, as an archer in chivalry, you were severely limited on what your secondary weapons could be. With this, you can actually... I, I'm going to assume this is going to stay until the end game. But you can actually be, like, a very multifaceted dude. You can have a bow as well as, like, a freaking Zweihander type weapon. Uh-oh. He's gonna eat me. Yeah, so, it takes a lot of arrows to kill these heavily armored dudes. I'm not even gonna, yeah, I'm not even gonna get close. But that's okay. Now, you guys might ask the question, well, if you're an archer in this game and you can change your armor, why not make just a shit ton of plate armor? You can, at the moment. However, the devs are planning on uh, limiting... I believe they're planning on limiting archer armor, like, if you're maining an archer. I guess that would be a counterpoint to my idea of, like, cross-classing. But, yeah, archers did not wear massive amounts of armor because they had to be able to move around and have a lot of mobility and versatility uh, with their arms and stuff. So, uh, to my knowledge, the developers are working on that. They want to balance it very well, because if armors... If archers are just covered in armor... Everyone is going to have a bow as their secondary. Uh, or archers are just going to be indestructible. I'm really bad at archery. I was, I was bad in archery and chivalry. So, you guys... Oh god, this guy's just covered in arrows, though. Fucking asshole. Okay. Yeah. But beyond that, uh, the arrow tip pointing thing, there's really not much difference. Uh, other than the armor taking more or less hits... Not all that much of a difference. Uh, did I not replace it with a rock? I did replace it with a rock. I think we've got to replace the class. Yeah. Just want to pull out a rock. Yep, here's a rock. So this is another throwing weapon. I really like them to keep this because this is interesting. I think this makes sense to keep as, um, as just any class's third weapon. I think that's kind of a replacement for a throwing axe. They might add throwing axes later, stuff like that. But... Honestly, I wouldn't mind if this is the only throwing weapon. Also, you point your your your, your hand, it points to where the rock's going to go. So, if I point at his head, it goes right over the head. Yeah, 
I think they... Fuck. I think they might be working on that. It, it shouldn't go over their head. Or maybe it should. I don't know. I don't archery. I don't arch. Anyway, God, my toes look disgusting. Let's try that one more time. Rocks obviously do just minuscule amounts of damage. Let's see if we can find the AI around here. yo le hoo Where the hell did you go? Oh, shit! Bitch, get out of here! Ugh. Oh, yeah, you can actually parry and clash with rocks, but you can't do it with arrows at the moment. <laughs> For some reason. Eventually. Oh, also, yeah, I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make a separate video shit for shields, actually. Just because. Fucking fuck, I can't hit shit with this guy. Use that superior speed! Ow. Eh. 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 Oh god. Yeah, when you're walking, you don't have much accuracy. It makes sense. I just want to try to hit this guy once. Also, I think this video is probably it makes sense to, to mention. So the oh, son of a bitch. So the man at arms dodge, it's completely gone. There's nothing there's nothing like that. It just it was just stupid in chivalry. And I played man at arms. It was completely unrealistic. However, in this game, you get something like a sort of half dodge. You can hop to the side or to your back. Can't hop forward, but you can hop, hop, hop. Your distance is based on the amount of armor you're wearing. So if you're not wearing much armor like this guy, you can actually get a solid body's distance. If you're heavily armored, you can't move that much. I'm going to switch to a heavily armored guy. I just need to hit this guy with a fucking rock. I just want to see that damage marker. God damn it. Where'd he go? He's going to fall down from the skies, isn't he? <sighs> Come on, Seymour, let's go. Move it. The hell is he? Did he, like, despawn? No. Nope, he's... Nope, nope. In all of his horrifying glory... Yeah, okay, I'm moving. Where'd you go, Seymour? There he is. Yeah, this AI doesn't know what's going on. Let me just... Fucking hell, it went through his legs. Hit him! Let me kill him with rocks. Oh, there's no head crush mechanic yet, also. They definitely need to work on that. Shut up, phone! And... Hangouts? I don't know why I made that noise. I'm not gonna kill him anytime soon. But let me show you guys... What what the dodges look like in heavy. So, I'm wearing a shit ton of armor. Not that far! Not that far of a jump. Way less. If we go light... Let's get naked. Big ass chump! This is almost as far as, like, an actual man-at-arms dodge, actually. Not not nearly as far, never mind, but like a good distance. So you guys get that idea. And you guys saw some ranged combat. Uh, the next video is probably going to be about shields. Or Yeah, there are actually two shields in the game right now, and they're pretty cool. But I hope that was informative enough. Let me just stab this guy to death. Let me give him some chambers. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, uh, God. Okay, yeah, fuck him. He just chopped me in half, practically. So I hope you guys did learn something, did enjoy this video. Uh, if you did, like, favorite, subscribe. As always, have a grand day. I'm just gonna stab this guy to death. Let me, let's just do that. Let's do that right now. Ah, oh, fuck it! I'm, it's not gonna happen. He just decapitated me. See you guys. And my head. Later.